Hello, NCCU fans. This is Kyle Barnes with the NCCU Sports Network, and welcome back. And we have a special, special virtual sit-down interview. This man needs no introduction, but I'm going to go ahead and give him a quick introduction. 2016 MEAC champion, all MEAC, NFL player, just was in his first NFL regular season game. And let's not forget about that Super Bowl champion, man, Nick Lever, man. Nick, appreciate you sitting down for me, man. Man, I'm glad to be here, man. Thank you for having me. First things first, man. Again, you just played your first NFL regular season game this past week against the Indianapolis Colts. So what was the feeling like when you're suiting up and you're running through that tunnel? Man, it was crazy, man. I was filled with emotions. Um, I mean, it was great to finally uh, dress. I hadn't been inactive the first 10 weeks. So to finally be able to put my, uh, you know, my jersey on and stuff like that, it was great, man. It was a great feeling. First drive happens. And then, you know, the starting guard that started that game, Aaron Stinney, he goes down with an injury and then they call up your number. So what was going through your head when they said, yo, you're up? My dog, Aaron, that's my dog, man. He uh, he came to the sideline. He was limping. I was like, shoot, I, was like, I hope he, I, you know, that's my dog, you know, or whatever. But uh, so like my coach had literally asked me, he said, Stinney, are you good to go? And at that point, we didn't know who the backup guard for him was because it's, it's me and it's, uh, it's another guy, uh, Robert Hainsey. We didn't know who the backup guard was. We was all getting guard reps. So um, when Stenny said he wasn't good, my coach literally looked at me. He said, all right, Nick, you up. I was like, oh, me? Okay. <laughs> <All right." laughs> but, man, I, I mean, it, it wasn't too much. It wasn't too big for me because uh, every week I prepare as if I was starting. So my coach told me I was up. I was like, all right. Time to go out here and handle some business. So did any of the veterans, you know, the Donovan Smith or maybe a guy like Tristan, where any of those starters said anything to you, you know, when they knew that you were going to be out there uh, replacing them? Man, as soon as I got out there, I started saying it was like, all right, man, time to shake and bake. Like, time to get it rolling. That's what you've been waiting for. And then, like, just all those guys, they were they were encouraging me. It was like, Nick, it's, it's, it's literally what we've been practicing all week. So we've been practicing all season. Nothing changed. Don't let it be too big for you. Um, so like guys, guys like that, I'm thankful for it. Cause they, they really kept me calm. Um, but yeah, that was the biggest thing. It was like, don't try to do nothing brand new. Don't try to do nothing. You wasn't coached to do so. Did you just ever get a chance during that moment, maybe in a timeout or something that you just actually just stood there and just looked around and it's like, wow, like this is it. Like I'm actually out here. When, when I first, that first series, I went out, I looked up and I, I was just looking like, I was looking at the crowd like, God, this is this is crazy. Like I can't believe I'm here right now. Like I immediately just thank God. I was like, God, you're so awesome for letting me be here. Um, and yeah, that that was the key moment, man. I was just looking like, God, this is crazy. Like to see a crowd full of, like a, a stadium full of fans, and so it was so loud. I was like, God, this is crazy. So you go into the game, you're doing your thing throughout, and then you know it's getting a little tight. You know, with the Colts and everything. Talk about that energy, like going out there, Tom, Mike Evans, and all of them. Y'all playing well. What was the energy like in that huddle before y'all started that eventually game-winning drive? Um, so like guys were just like just saying, like, hey, you know what we gotta do? Let's stay, let's stay calm, stay poised, and you know, everybody do their one eleven. Um, and then you know, the old line, you know, we like, hey, let's let's get it done. Start with us, let's let's go out here and make some shake. Um, but yeah, man, like guys, everybody had their own swag. Like a lot of a lot of the time, like guys in the huddle was just saying like Nate like you know keep doing you like keep doing what you're doing because you're doing some good stuff like I'm proud of you type stuff like a lot of those dudes were telling me how proud they was of me and stuff so I mean that drive that drive was crazy like coming out like and then like me and Lenny we was like hey look Lenny you scored again we got a gritty you know we got <laughs> you know to hit it because I give it so, yeah, that's how – that's how. That's, that's funny because I was actually about to ask you about that. You and Lenny, you know, y'all hit the dance. You know, the gritty people don't know what it is. I was about to ask you, was it playing, like, you know, before in the huddle? Was it playing on the sideline, like, before the play? Like, I, like when, when, when did that, that whole conversation happen? Literally, like, as soon as we went out for that last draw, I was like, hey, Lenny, next time you score, we got to hit that joint. <laughs> All right, bit, bit, bit. So, like, he scored. I was like – I was like, oh, shoot, Lenny just scored. So I ran over there, and, you know, we had to turn up real quick. But on a scale of 1 to 10, you have a lot of energy, but how would you rate your gritty, man, on a scale of 1 to 10? How would you rate that? Man, stop playing with me. That thing was 10, 11, 12, 10,000. Wow, I was hitting that thing. Wow. <laughs> You definitely was saying that, Jack. I was laughing, too. I was like, I said, look at Nick over there hitting the gritty him and Lady, man. So what was the energy like after y'all got that big win? And everybody was telling me how proud they was of me, how good I did, and uh, everything like that, man. Everybody was happy. Wins, ain't, uh, wins aren't easy to come across in the league. Uh, so I coach was like, just suck up the win. Uh, let's get ready for next week. But a lot of people applauded me for stepping up and uh, being able to manage the game the way I did.
So, yeah, that's all right. I mean, everybody was running up to me after the game. Gotcha. And, you know, after the game, they typically give away some game balls and everything. Head coach Bruce Arian said that he was going to get you a game ball. It's kind of like a badge of honor, especially for that game. Uh, so what was it like, you know, hearing that when Coach Arian's like, hey, Nick, we're going to give you a game ball for this game for stepping up big? I mean, I actually didn't find out until, like, I got on the bus to uh, – because I, I, it was too many notifications on my phone. <laughs> but, uh, I didn't check my phone until um, we got on the bus to head to the airport. And, like, everybody was just saying game ball game. I'm like, what are y'all talking about? So then, like, they sent me the tweet. They sent me uh, the interview and everything. Uh, so when I found out, I was like, oh, shoot. Like, it's crazy. Like, I'm about to get a game ball my first game, my first NFL game. I'm going to get a game ball. That's crazy. So, man, I was – it was, it's definitely dope to uh, be able to get that. Uh, and shoot, I hope I get many more. Yeah, many more is going to be in your future. We're going to manifest and speak it. But last thing, man, just any closing statement that you want to give just on your first NFL regular season game that you got the chance to play in? Man, I couldn't have did any of that without God, man. You know, I'm I'm going to say my praises, man. I, I'm nothing without the man above. Um, I mean, it, it's definitely a blessing, man. It's, it's crazy, man. I... Uh, <sighs> Yeah, man, it's crazy, man. Thank you. <laughs> hey, man, Nick, again, from everybody here from NCC, we want to say thank you so much for your time here, not only at NCCU, but keep doing your thing in the NFL. Keep representing Eagle Pride fully, man. And we just going to love keep seeing you do great things. And again, remember, hey, Bucks fans, number 60, that boy Nick Leverett, hey, your problem. <laughs> Your problem yeah. out there. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's going to be it for this interview again. Nick, thanks again for taking the time virtually to come sit down with me, talking about your first NFL regular season game experience and everything. This is Calvin Barnes with the NCC Sports Network. Catch you next time, Eagle fans.